Hey everyone, it's Trinia, and I've had some requests on my scooter and, you know, how we take it apart and all that kind of stuff. So, Dwayne and I are going to show you how it's done. Here's my scooter, and um, we bought it. Let's see, I'll show you the tag. It's the GoGo -Go Ultra Pride Mobility Products. And I believe we got it at the scooter store. And I've had it for three years. And we got it on sale. Um, it was $1,000, but we got it for $700, if I remember correctly. Um, back here, this is like just a packet that you keep your charger in and everything. And it's on the back of the seat, so you always have your charger with you. Um, don't go without it because you're bound to determine to need to need it if you if you don't put it on there. Um, let's go ahead and put the oxygen on there, Dwayne. Um, and here the scooter also comes with the basket, and you can see <laughs> it's been through quite a bit. Um, and our oxygen, it's just in a backpack. And we just use the chair as like the back and and we go with it. In my oxygen tank, we also set it on the back and it went, the travel one went from there. Okay, this comes apart in how many pieces? It comes apart in four pieces and I believe no part weighs more than, no more than 20 pounds. Um, so let's go ahead and take it apart because we it fits in the back of our our car or SUV. It's not I always call it a car, but it comes apart. So Dwayne, this is how he does it because it's too much for me to do. But at one point I could do it when we very first got it, but it was really hard. And that part folds down. That's yeah, just taking the front off. And there it all goes and it fits in the back of the car. It's in the trunk of a car too. So like Dwayne said, it will fit easily in the trunk of a car also. So let's go ahead and take it back out and put it together real quick. I mean, it's, for somebody with strength, it's a simple process, but I can't do it. That's the battery right there, and that's a dry cell battery. And for airlines, there goes the seat. The airlines, you have to have a dry cell battery for it to be allowed on the airplane. And now somebody started mowing in the background, so I hope you can hear me. Um, but the tags, these right here are the approval from the people at the airport that uh, the scooter that the battery is okay and they put that on down at the at the door but they let me drive this I'd, I'm on the scooter the whole time going into the airport getting our tickets going through security um, driving all the way to our gate and at the gate I'm still on it and I'd go down the the ramp into the airplane and right when you get to the airplane doors when I have to get off and at that point um, we get off I get off and I take my key and we put it to where it's oops we put it where it will roll and they and I take this with me on the airplane and it has my pillow and stuff in it but then it goes the rest of the scooter goes directly underneath the airplane and we're the first ones on but we're the last ones off of the plane and when I get off they have my scooter 
sitting there waiting for me. So I hope that helps. But um, I've really, you know, it's it is really worth the money. Insurance will not pay for a scooter. At least ours wouldn't. They paid for our manual wheel wheelchair and an electric wheelchair, in which I've never used the electric wheelchair. It just sits there and catches dust because there's no way we can load it in the car or anything. You have to have a special ramp and lift and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know how I ended up with it, but we've got one. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. See you in the next video.